If you want to see how I created this beautiful golden sunset eye makeup on my sister Nino, please keep watching. Uh, sorry for that. Now, moving on, I will start with the MAC Fix Plus just to prep the face. Then, to hydrate the skin, I'll be using this Origins Matte Skin Moisturizer. I will be applying this all over her face to make sure that it's soft and smooth and ready for the makeup application. Now, let's move on to the primer. This is the most important step of your makeup since this is the base of your makeup application which will help your makeup look smooth and last all day long. I start the application on the T-zone and then I make sure that I disperse it all over the face. And by all over, I mean all over. Now, let's move to the foundation. I'll be using my favorite, the Smashbox Studio Skin, but Nino uses the shade 3.2. I normally use 3.15. And I'll be using around three pumps and I'll be just applying dots all over her face in the areas where I want to start blending and then I'll be using the Start Beauty Sponge and start blending it all out. And again, no matter how long you take blending, make sure that you take your time and blend it all well to avoid missing any spots. And I guess you can tell that we had way too much fun creating this video. Now let's move on to highlight. I'll be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. And I will be starting by highlighting the middle of her face and also her under eyes. She looked at me weird because we normally don't apply any concealer there, but just for these tutorial purposes, I had to. Then blend it all out. What I like the most about this Tarte Beauty Blender is that it has this thin edge that makes it so much easier for you to blend smaller spots, such as the nose and under eyes. It's truly amazing. Then, using this Maybelline Fit Me Finishing Powder, and a damp beauty sponge, I will be sealing the areas that I highlight. Like I mentioned in my previous video, this step is very important to do it using a damp beauty blender given the fact that it helps your makeup look much more flawless at the end and it also helps it last all day long without looking cakey. And again, I apply this on the areas where I highlight it, including this section right here, which is to carve where I'll be doing the contouring later, and also the smiling expression lines. Since I really don't bake, right after I finish this step, I pat all the powder into the skin. Now, let's move to the brows. I'll be using the same NYX Micro Brow Pencil that I use for my eyebrows in the shade Medium. I feel like with Nino, I could've went a little darker, but this is the only pencil I had, so this is what it goes. And I make sure that I draw the lines in mini strokes, again, to create the effect of natural hair. The next step will be filling the brows in. And yes, I'll be using my Ride or Die Cake Powder. I don't care how old it is, but it does the work. When doing this step, please make sure that you're doing it as gentle as you can, since we want the brows to look as natural as possible. Now, let's seal the brows using this Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade Medium. Now, I will be applying this Pure Cosmetics Lip Scrub Slash Plumber on her lips before I apply the highlight. Now, to highlight, I'll be using this Morphe and Brett Manrock Baby in Paradise Palette in the shade Get Laid. The amazing thing about this palette is that it comes with this fan brush, which is very soft, and I swear that the colors are so pretty. But anyway, I will start highlighting her cheekbones and the desired areas where basically the natural lighting hits you 
you just basically want to alter that effect make a pop if you will now to highlight the smaller areas i'll be using this tiny l'oreal brush and again it's just for the smaller areas where i cannot use the big fan brush such as the tear dot brow bone nose and lips And also remember that you want to make this step as gentle as you can. Again, you want to create the effect of natural lighting. And now let's remove the lip scrub before I forget. I feel like I always forget. Now let's move to the eyes. Today I'll be using the Jaclyn Hill Palette. Oh my god, I just feel like this palette is so freaking beautiful. Every time I see it, it just takes my breath away. Anyways, I'll be applying the shades Silk Cream and MFEO on the crease using this NYX Fluffy Blending Brush. Now, right on top of that crease color, I will be applying the shade buns just to intensify the look a little more. Now, for the lids, I will be applying the shade, hold on, there we go, mix. I will be applying this shade using a flat brush after applying a little bit of the Max Fix Plus just to make sure that we intensify the color on the eyelids. And right after, again, my finger technique, I feel like this is the best to be applying chrome colors. Then I'll take this flat, fluffy brush and apply the same shade I originally used on the crease on the lower lash line. To intensify this area a little bit more, I will take the shade Chip and apply it starting from the outer corner of her eye, bringing it inwards, and the closest to the tear dot, the lighter the application. Now, using an angled brush, I will apply that same shade Chip on the upper lash line. I feel like this step is not always necessary, so if you want to keep it a little bit more simple, you can definitely skip this step. It will still look very pretty. Now, I will be taking the shades Roxanne and Pookie to be able to intensify a little bit more that crease area. And what I'll do is I'll just take a little bit and start blending in the same area where I started doing the crease to make sure that everything is well blended and I literally just keep on blending, trying to connect the line to my lower lash to make sure that everything is seamless. Now, using this vintage black eyeliner, I will be applying this on the lower waterline and also on the upper waterline, if that's how you call it. Now, to finish the eyes, I will be applying the Superhero Mascara. Wow. I seriously had to do it in slow motion just because this is exactly how I see it every time I open the mascara to put it on. Let's proceed. <laughs> I start on the lower lash line, again like I explained in my previous video, and then wait until it dries up a little and then apply it on the top lashes. Now let's move to the face. Let's start contouring. I'll be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette in the shade Subconscious. And I will start applying this slowly, blending it upwards, just to connect with the line that I originally did with the highlight at the beginning. And please make sure that your model cooperates on getting that contour on point. <laughs> Joking, blessing you. I also apply some on the forehead, very close to the hairline, to make sure that I shape the face evenly. At the end, it's basically as if you were doing a number three on the side of her face. Now, 
Using this thin, fluffy brush, I'll be contouring her nose. I like drawing two lines at the side of the nose. And then at the very tip of the nose, I like drawing what seems to be a mini triangle just to create a pointy nose effect. And then I draw this mini line just to finish that look and I make sure that I blend it all up. Now to bronze, I'll be using the Pure Cosmetics Bronze and Brighten Palette using a medium fluffy brush. This, let's say it's my favorite bronzing shade, I feel like it's not too shimmer or too matte, it's literally just the perfect color to accentuate your contouring. It's just basically to give your makeup that golden goddess bronze, it's just perfect. Now, to accentuate the contoured areas even more, I'll be using the same loose powder with the beauty sponge, drawing a line under where I did the contouring. Wow, just like this. I feel like this step is a must to make sure that your contour is on point. And please make sure that when you're dusting it all off, you're doing it in circular motions to make sure that everything is well blended. Blending is key. I also blend down her neck to make sure that everything is even. Now let's move to blush. I will be using the shade Fearless from the Real Her Blush Kit Palette and apply it gently on her cheeks. Aw, look at those cheeks. And then this randomly happened. Bueno, Huda Beauty, I hope you see this and I hope you send us some free makeup, you know? Well, I was not expecting that, but anyway, moving on, I'll be using the same highlighting palette I used at the beginning, using the same shade Get Laid mixed with Mahu. I just want to give it that golden glow, so that's why I decided to mix in another shade. And again, apply everything smoothly. And Huda, if you ever, ever see this, Please excuse my sister Nino, since sometimes she has no filter. Now, to bless the makeup, I'll be using the MAC Fix Plus. Mix with the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. Quick tip, make sure you also help your client getting that setting spray dry so much faster. And for lips, I'll be using a matte lip color from Dose of Colors in the shade Lacy Daisy. I also didn't pop any lashes on my model today, but keep in mind this is optional and you can definitely do so. Now I will gently remove her moño. <laughs> and since I was trying to get my model to pose, but all she literally did was laugh, I decided to post some pictures of the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.